Hi everyone, welcome to AI Sciences. This is Sari Shakil with you. And what we have for you today, we have come up with animated bar chart races, that too in the Python. So yes, today's video is going to be very helpful if you're interested in illustrations and visualization of data. So what you are going to learn today, we'll explore bar chart races in the Python and we'll develop a small application using these libraries. So before we start, if you are new here into our channel, you can check the link of our website in the description of the video given the chat box and also here in, a, in, in the slide title as well. So if you are want to make your career in data science and artificial intelligence, our channel is going to give you a variety of courses, including these domains, and you can explore your skills and you, enha you can enhance your careers. So let's begin. <laughs> So what I have done, I have opened Collab window. And in Collab, first of all, what I need, I want to install this library. So I'm writing this magical keyword of pip install bar chart race. So let's run it. By the time it will run, I can start typing in my next cell. So after importing this library, I need to import a variable from this library, which I'll use it further for the visualization of my data. Okay, see, the results. So they're already, I'm satisfying the requirement. For me, it is being already installed. So for your uh, browsers, you need to install it by using the same command of pip install and bar chart race. Now, what I'm doing, I'm importing my bar chart race from my this library. I am taking a instance of variable then after it I'm going to use it oh this is not uh, dash this is underscore okay after it I'm going to use it further I'm going to define my data frame so DF variable and this DF will be equal to this uh, instance of the above uh, library BCR and then I'm going to load data Okay, the beauty of this library is that you can uh, visualize your data, like here I'm going to represent my bar charts. So here, with the use of this library, you can use, uh, display animated bars. So for this, you need to upload some kind of data. For data also, some kind of conditions are there that uh, which kind of values should exist, how the camera commas should be separated. So I am going to upload the data which is already available, like which in data set, I'm going to upload data of COVID-19, which is already available uh, in my data sets. So COVID-19 underscore tutorial. So this data, and then I'll show you the data frame of it, that what kind of data it, it has. So see, this is my data. This is the data of COVID-19 that uh, for each country, like for uh, example, for Netherlands, for Spain, for the United Kingdom, for as rep represented to the dates, what, what, how much cases of uh, COVID-19 were existing. So now what we are going to do, this data is not so helpful for us. We cannot analyze it. We cannot check the effectiveness of it. So as a common user, or if you want to show this data in a more illustrated way, in a more appealing way, we need to represent it in the form of a graph. So here we are taking help of the bar chart and that too, not a simple bar chart, we are going to use animated bars. So I will use this BCR variable and then BCR dot bar underscore chart underscore race, this variable. And then I'll show it my data frame. Okay, because this uh, command, I'm going to use it further also. So I'm just copying it for further use. Now see the results. You can say the magic. Now these will come as animated bars in the form of horizontal bars. See, is it amazing that USA, Spain, animated bars are appearing and that too, with respect to the increasing cases, that uh, the highest cases were reporting the USA, then like Italy, then Spain. So these are showing us animated bar. 
that too in the form of horizontal bars. Now, we can choose different varieties of these uh, uh, library, different variables. We can use it with different variables, and each will show us different kind of results. So let's explore some of, of the variables, and at the end of the video, I'll show you the library, which is uh, uh, the uh, website of this library also. So let's see how we can use it in different kind of frames. So again, I'm using this uh, BCR variable with bar chart race. And now the data frame, I want to change the orientation. Like instead of horizontal, now I want vertical orientation. So I can use it with orientation keyword equal to then uh, as a syntax, I'm giving it as vertical. So let's see what it appears. So see, now instead of horizontal bars, you are going to have vertical bars. So I just change a little bit uh, in my syntax and I'm going, I have a different kind of results. Similarly, instead of vertical, if I want some kind of uh, different arrangement, like I want ascending order, like still it's showing what? It's showing me from the highest value. So if I want from the lowest value, I can change the variable a little bit more. I can change the syntax. I can change those little bit, uh, value of the variable and then I will see the results. So I'm saying that what kind of sorting I want? I want sorting as ascending, ascending order. So now same kind of bars, it will show me in the ascending form. Okay, by that time, it is opening. I'll show you the syntax of the library, what kind of other features you can see it from bar chart race. In Python, I'll show you. Just a minute. See. So here now, they are coming in as ascending order from lowest to highest. Okay, one more time. We'll choose it with another. I want to see, uh, let's say I want to see five bars or I want to see three bars. So I can change the number of bars too. So there, what I need to put, I need to put the variable and underscore bars. And then I have to give the number of bars. Let's say I want to see two bars. So let's see. So the results are really helpful if you want to give some kind of good presentations where your stakeholders will see that what kind of visualization it has. So this is going to give you amazing results. See, now number of bars are appearing as two. And the last use, I'll show it as that if I want to see uh, results of some particular bar, some particular country. So this is showing with respect to what? This is uh, with respect to the data which I have. So here already I have data of uh, different countries They're like the heads are representing the name of the country similarly what kind of data you will be having accordingly you will change the values of your variables so i am saying it fixed underscore order like i want which order this order i'm representing in the form of a string and i'm saying that i let's say i want to see of iran and i want to see the results of let's say usa that's it i want to see these two results these two bars So see, now only for Iran and USA in the same order, which order I represented that I want Iran first and then USA, it has shown me those two bars. So this is our today's video, what it was about for data visualization with the help of Python and which library we have used. We have used the library of bar chart race. And last thing which I wanted to show you that I want to show that bar chart race in Python where you can see the complete results of it, full description. This is that library page in Python that how you can use, how you can see complete packages being given. So here you go. So that's all for our today's video. Please give the feedback and if you want to uh, learn anything from us, then please let us know that uh, which, which library you want to explore or which library you want some more help or which other topic you are interested in. By that time, it's bye-bye uh, uh, from our site and hope to see you again in our next video. Bye. <laughs>